Yo, Philly254 living life. Back at it. So the Steam Deck definitely comes with its own carrying case. Let's put it out there, front street. Definitely comes with its own carrying case. It's actually pretty good. Nice and hard and everything. Handles that, protects it nice and well. But we can always use an upgrade. And what we're looking at today is just that, the upgrade. The JSOX Steam Deck carrying case. Now before we get into how well does it match up to the original, which I've already kind of spoiled that when I said it was an upgrade, just real quick, like and subscribe, do the YouTube Jazz and Moraine, click the notification bell, you know how it goes man, now let's get into it. I'll get, oh, real quick, I will be up front, this is a promoted video, JSOX did provide me with this carrying case, but that does not in any way and will not in any way change my thoughts for positive or negative on this carrying case. So, real quick, let's compare it. Just two, compare the two. Let's put this right here. And as you can see, the the J Sox is a little bit taller. It's a, it's a thick boy. It's thick. Let's put it side by side, or in this way you can really see. Definitely thick. Definitely thick. Put a little down. Well, there you go. Definitely thick. Now inside the actual, the original Steam Deck case, you had just enough room for the Steam Deck itself. Excuse the cat hair. Just enough room for the Steam Deck itself. Here's the difference, and this is what's why the JSOX is why I consider it an upgrade. So let's open it up. What's in the box? Open it up. So we'll just kind of peel it back layer by layer. First things first. The Steam Deck itself sits there nice and nuzzled. Real safe, you can see. Nice and nuzzled and safe. But here, let's show the first the first thing that's gonna be a, the biggest difference. The case comes with a little compartment. So you have little slots for about five different micro SD cards. Make sure you label your cards. So that way you can carry them around with you. If you have multiple cards with multiple games, your game collection is just that big. Whether you got a 64 or the 512 or one gigabyte or whatever, you got plenty of you got plenty of slots to carry your SD cards. On top of that, you have a little mesh, a little mesh, a little mesh area here to kind of put more SD cards if you want, or you can put anything else in there that will fit in there, I guess. For example, throw a little, a little micro USB cord or whatnot, or if you got a you you know got a a thumbstick, thumb drive, throw that in there too, whatever. Next thing's next. Let's close this. Pull this out the way. Of course, that's the old Glorious Steam Deck. Let's pull her out, pull her to the side here for a second. And underneath the Steam Deck, as you can see, there's actually a nice little compartment for you can put other items. So right now, I just have a couple things just for the case, for the sake of the video. But this right here, just a charger, a charger brick, whatnot. But you can put anything that'll fit in there. So you got to keep in mind when I say anything that fits, it has to, you know, has to make clearance both width and height. So, for example, it's not a lot, not a lot of room, but let's see if I can, it's almost like playing Tetris. There you go. Kind of, kind of, kind of force that in there. Maybe set it up like that. Maybe, no, I don't know, like how it sits. Put this right here. There you go. Throw a mouse, throw your charger, throw your cable in there. Of course, you put your cable up here at the very front if you wanted to. You got a little more room for something else. But definitely carries a mouse with no problems. Definitely carries, of course, like you saw, charger for no problems. But what about, for example, a Steam Deck carrying case? Not carrying case, sorry. Steam Deck stand, a standalone Steam Deck stand. Put that down. You can clearly see it closes without no problem. Steam Deck has no issues with that. It's, it's kind of pushing. It's kind of pushing. I'll be honest with you. But for the most part, has no issues with that. But what about, I don't know, a handy dandy Steam Deck dock. Shouts out to Avalar. Fits in there, no problems. Kinda gotta, gotta curl that cord in there a little bit. But here's the problem, this guy right here. And you can't see it, but I can definitely feel it. Steam Deck doesn't like that, doesn't clear. It's too tall, too tall. So whatever you put in there, you gotta make sure it fits both width and height. Otherwise, you'll have some problems. But 
you may not need a, a carrying case, or should I carry case? I keep saying carrying case, an actual dedicated stand because this guy has one more trick up his sleeve. Let's show it real quick. Put that right there. Hold on. There we go. Throw that right there. It kind of actually doubles, and not not kind of, but actually does double as a nice little stand for the Steam Deck itself. Of course, if you already have, as I've always said, your own little Steam Deck case that has a built-in stand, you really don't need it. But it's nice to know that it's there, so you don't really have to purchase or, or I say purchase, but bring along a standalone stand. Now the dock is whole some some different. I'd say throw that in your backpack or whatever, especially if it's kind of tall like the Avalar. But I'll definitely put this out there. Is this an upgrade? As I've already stated, yes, definitely upgrade. Carries a few things with it. Has a little double function with the actual being a stand for the Steam Deck. Definitely has the same protection as the original factory factory case does. Definitely a win. Definitely a win. So is this a buy or a pass? Shoot. I've already, in fact, if you haven't figured it out by now, it's definitely a buy. It's definitely a buy. Uh, for what I'm from, well, it actually goes for $23.99. I was going to say it goes for like $29, but I think it's on sale right now. So $23.99. I'm going to throw the link in the description as well as the, fir as the first pinned comment. That way you can go on there, grab yourself, and that way you can kind of get it moving. What is it? Well, so why would you purchase this beyond just using a regular one? The regular old case that comes with the Steam Day. Well, just like I said, grab it and go. You've got a few items that kind of you can kind of throw in there, you know, charger cable, maybe a, a little, an actual external charger, or whatever, portable charger, or whatever, mouse, whatever, headphones, whatever, what have you. You can definitely do that with this case without having to pack too much. Now, if you're trying to bring your whole Steam Deck setup, then you need to get you a backpack or something, homie. But like I said definitely a buy it's definitely an upgrade to the to the original case not in the sense of protection it's about the exact same which is both of them are very good but more in the fact of actual utility just because of all the different things it can do and carry different sd cards and whatnot so definitely a buy definitely a buy and as always if you want more steam deck news accessories updates as well as cloud gaming like and subscribe to cruise through the playlist and we're out